all the purpose of leaving your home or office desk and coming to woods is to be in contact with nature and enjoy your time. Stressing, relaxing and having fun, right? I repeat it, having fun. For me, main purpose of being in woods is to be with peace with myself after being in a hectic environment for a week or more. Here are 20 ideas about what you can do when you reach your destination and how to have fun. Make sure you write them down, either in your phone note or maybe pocket filled note or simply a piece of paper to have them with you in case you forget them. Some of these activities might look lame or dumb, but if you deeply look into them, they help all your senses activated and also they have healing benefits. Let's count them. Sing a song. Let your vocal cord works. Give points to your singing, just like the voice. It helps to release tension on your throat from a week of tense condition at work or at home. It makes you more relaxed. The louder you sing, more tension you release. Just make sure birds and other animals around you like your singing and not leave you alone. Read a book, any book which is not related to your work. You don't want to get involved with something related to work when you are out of work, right? You can have the book on your phone, on your tablet or even paper book. This makes you connect your old time and release your brain from over rendering all shitty thoughts. After a long hike or long driving and then setting up your tent or shelter, you need to cheat and refresh your muscles. Do some Qigong moves. Maybe they call it Qigong? Hmm, I don't know. I just use it. Some stretches. Release those toxic acids from your muscles and brain cells. It refreshes your moods and makes your mind reset to having a good time in woods. Take photo of random plant, animals and activities just to remind yourself how beautiful they are. Close your eyes and only listen to birds, leaf movements, river flow and other nature sounds. It improves your hearing and makes you focus more on listening. We have two ears and one mouth to listen more and talk less, right? Dance. Beside your fire pit, beside river, around trees. Just dance, no matter how ridiculous you dance. Nobody seeing you to judge you, then why you judge yourself? It helps to increase your self-esteem and improve your confidence as a human being. So just dance. Try to get close to non-dangerous animals. Be friend with them. Find an insect passing by your food or your tent. Without touching them, just watch their move. It helps you to improve your focus in daily life. It improves your eyesight for finding small details, no matter how good they hide themselves. Find some plants, they are new to your eyes. Touch their leaves gently. Let your finger feel the freshness of nature. After all these successful scavenging activities, pat on your own shoulder for this great find. Carve something, even a piece of walking stick. No matter how simple is your first carving, just do it. It improves your intuition and helps your problem solving skills. Trust me, I am doing that from one and a half year ago. And now I know how to open nuts with hand and not with my teeth. Watch sunset. Get drowned into the beauty of light, the harmony of colors, and remember every start has an end and every down will resolve into rice. When you hear a bird sing, whistle with her. Try different tones and maybe she reply you back. That's the best part of it actually. If you camp near a river or muddy train, grab some mud and make a figure or a fire pit. Let your hand get dirty. You are here to have fun and not invited for a prom party, right? Make your own food. Avoid using all cup noodles or dehydrated preserved foods. Enjoy making bread and pasta in woods. Maybe it makes your base weight a bit higher than normal, but believe me, it's worth every ounce you carry more. You just want to have fun. That's it. You have your own tent. Then maybe it's a good time to build another shelter out of branches and leaves. As long as you are not hurting nature, do what comes to your mind. Make an imaginary scenario and cast it. Write down your weak spot. Sit and talk to yourself how you can improve them to lead you to be a better yourself. You are alone with yourself. That's your man cave. 
Be honest with yourself. Do not put blame on yourself and anyone else. Here is the best place to find some good answers. So enjoy this peaceful time. Start to clean your camping spot even if some responsible hikers make it dirty. Don't forget, you should not blame them. It just makes your day a bit negative and full of annoying thoughts. You are here to enjoy your trip, right? So only do it as a give back to nature for what nature gives you. Try to build fire with different tools and methods. Make sure you are allowed to have open fire and you know how to control it. Don't forget, safety first. But learning new skills always make you feel accomplished, isn't it? So try it. Get busy with fishing, if allowed in your area. Try to use not modern tools, just simple fishing rod out of a tree branch, some fishing line and lure. You are set to go. Don't get frustrated if you don't catch anything. You are just having fun. Because you are out of civilized world. And you already have your food in your backpack. So just enjoy it. Download a movie in your phone or tablet and after dinner watch it. In darkness there is nothing to do and maybe it's best thing to watch a movie when you're waiting for your sleeping time. Better to not be a horror movie, right? Just remember you are in woods alone and still have few hours to sleep and those creepy movies could lead your imagination to change a twig fall from a tree to a scene full of Silent Hill citizens. Lay down and watch clouds in the sky. If there is no cloud, watch clear sky in night and count stars. You can make imaginary shapes with clouds or stars. A man with a wing, with a huge nose, oh that's cool, why not? You just look at them and build your shape. Okay, maybe one more remain. Let's be innovative and better to say naughty. Let your devil come out of you and have some fun if you bring someone with you. Near end of your hike with your pal, wife, girlfriend or whoever coming with you, if you are the leader, just suddenly stop and check your phone, map and everything in your pocket and then repeat it, oh, based on my calculation, sun direction, trees in this area, mm, I am sure we are lost, oh shit. Just make sure you have some sweets or candies or running shoes to get away from their killing intentions. And last one. Don't forget to mark your territory. That's your territory, mark it nicely. Stay safe and have fun in woods. Take care, bye.